Well, we're joined by the person behind this campaign, Afwa Her. She wants Nelson's column to be toppled. Uh, Trisha Goddard is over in Connecticut. Um, what's your response, Trisha? My response is that it is a very different situation to the one here in the States. Most of the Confederate statues uh, were put up during the Jim Crow years and uh, when uh, African Americans were agitating to get the vote, and they've become rallying points for white supremacists. Now, Nelson's column has not become a rallying point for anything other than pigeons, as far as I'm <laughs> aware. Um, yes, he did have a, a, a background in, uh, you know, to do with slaves, and I have to thank Afwa for pointing out in her article that at the bottom of that column is a, a, a black slave. And what I think is we should use those monuments to educate people in much the same way as, say, Auschwitz is there to educate uh, people. It's, it's, you know, it shouldn't be torn down. We have to remember the good and the bad and use it as a force for good and education. Well, Afwa, what is so bad about Admiral Lord Nelson that you want the column to come down? Well, first of all, I agree with Tricia. It's not just about tearing statues down. And actually, I think that if you read my column, it's been slightly overblown. I am not sitting at home with a bulldozer ready to take Trafalgar Square today. I want education. I want people to look at these statues and see them in a context. And what Tricia said is true. There is a picture of a black seaman um, in the bas relief when Nelson's dying. And most people walk past that and completely ignore it. And actually, they walk through most of London and they see these military heroes who built the slave trade, grew rich off the slave trade, um, defended it, and they have no idea of the fuller picture of their history. So really, that's what I'm calling do for. Do you know what Nelson actually did? I do know what he did. What did he do? He, he saved the country from an existential threat at the hands of the French during the Napoleonic Wars. And I understand that. I understand that's why that Napoleon was probably the biggest driver of slavery in the world and wanted to basically dominate the world and put slavery forward another 300 years, probably. You understand that? I understand that, Piers. But see, my problem is I think that we're very quick to say America is racist and had segregation slavery, Napoleon was a worse slave trader, Portuguese colonialism was worse than British colonialism. These may all be true, but the fact is we really shy away, and we have done my whole life anyway. I'm British. I've been here my whole life. Shy away from actually acknowledging the facts of what Who we Who would do. you have a column for? Nelson Mandela? We do have a statue of Nelson and Mandela, you, actually, you, and, and Westminster refused that, planning permission Should that be taken down? I don't think Nelson Mandela should be taken down. But many people, including the British government, until the early 80s, said that Nelson Mandela was a terrorist, that the ANC was a terror organisation, and they committed appalling acts of violence. Why would you support a statue for Nelson Mandela, but not for Lord Nelson? Is it one rule for one Nelson because of his skin colour? And another rule for another Nelson, because he was a white guy? So, when Nelson Mandela was fighting against apartheid, he wasn't recognised as a full human being because apartheid had stripped him of his rights to humanity. So, for me, I see that as a battle that was worth fighting. And what, one thing I think that's very interesting about the but you debate... You don't see the battle that Nelson fought, Lord Nelson fought against Napoleon to save this country as a battle worth fighting? Well, it may be, but the reason well, I, I wanted well, to have a debate was Do you or don't you? I think that it needs to be remembered in a context. I'm happy for Nelson Mandela to be remembered, and I think he is. Many mm. people know about the struggle and the ANC's um, armed resistance. Would you see him as a flawed hero, as many people of do? Of course, of course. You know, so why, why is he allowed to be a flawed hero worthy of a statue, but the other Nelson, because he's white, is not allowed to be a flawed hero. No, this statue. isn't about saying that if you're white, your statue should come down, and if you're black, it is, your statue it is should exactly remain. about that. No, it's not. And it actually, is. you're a black woman no, it's saying not. a white, a white I'll war hero who I'm saved this country about. should not have a statue, but you want a black hero who you accept as a flawed hero to have his statue. There is a race element to this, there which isn't. you cannot I, deny. I would disagree. For example, many people who are Irish Catholic have been using this whole debate to voice their discomfort with the statue of Cromwell in front of the Houses of Parliament, because they see him as the first person in British history to, to institute what a genocide. What about Winston Churchill? Winston Churchill, there are many said people some, who, Winston Churchill agree, is on yeah. the record as saying some pretty inflammatory things and doing inflammatory things. I agree. Things. There are should many people have, who are uncomfortable Winston with Gandhi Ch well, because no. he uh, was racist. And should Winston Churchill have his statue? Or would yes, you take I, that I, down? I would like to hear a debate about Winston Churchill yeah. because three million people died unnecessarily My God, from a take famine. Down Winston in Churchill's Trisha, what do you think about Trisha Winston God, Churchill? Trisha Goddard, let's take down Winston Churchill's wow. statue. Apparently, Hello. what it has done is create some debate, and I think the saddest thing of all is that one has to become. 
uh, fairly inflammatory to get any debate on race at all. It's interesting that in the States I've done a series on race um, and it's, been, it's all come up again since Charlottesville where I DNA tested a white supremacist. Um, could I make the same series in England? I don't know. I would love to because I think we really need a forum where we can discuss these sorts of things without people having to resort to somewhat, some people might say, inflammatory arguments in order to get any debate at all. And I feel Afua's uh, frustration because these things aren't normally talked about unless there's, uh, you know, some big brouhaha. They're not talked but about because Admiral should be Lord Nelson... Statues. I think we should be... They're not talked about, Trisha, because Admiral Lord Nelson... I think we should Lord be Nelson... educating people about the full story. Let me educate people about Lord Nelson and, and Winston well... Churchill. They saved this nation. One from Napoleon, one from the Nazis. Damn right they get statues. And to try and pretend somehow they're now these ghastly people who should have their statues ripped down is deeply offensive to most people in this country.